And if I'm talking too much, then I'm sorry. I'm trying to be helpful. So wish me luck and let's get styling. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome. My name is Salima and as you can tell from the title, I am doing my favorite outfits. Just a disclaimer, there's a lot of black in this in this video and as you can tell, I really like wearing black. I also put a picture or a reel of this whole outfit that I'm wearing right now so that you can see what it looks like. But yeah, I just really love all black looks. I just think they look very smart, sophisticated, sexy, put together. So the first outfit, I, I love this outfit. This is more like a workwear inspired look because of the dress that I'm wearing, that pinafore dress. It's a tweed pinafore dress and underneath it I'm wearing a polo neck, tero neck, a black tero neck which is similar to this one except the one that I'm wearing in the video or in the picture is a bit more fitted than this one which is a bit more baggy and I just really like this outfit. Like I said, it's more of like a workwear inspired look. It looks very smart. I look like I put in a lot of effort because of the tights and the heels. So it's actually like a pair of boots, but it's like a sock boot. That sock boot is open toe. And then I'm just wearing my favorite River Islands bag. This bag I've had for so many years. If you follow me on Instagram or if you watched some of my other videos, then you'd know that I've had this bag for the longest. And I just really, really love it. And for me, it's just a simple office inspired look that I just love for any occasion really. It's not really just for like workwear. It's a way to kind of show you that you don't have to wear your office looks just for the office. You can style them in a way that makes them look more dressy, more fun and more for like going out. So that's my first favorite outfit. So the next outfit, I am wearing a leopard print blouse shirt. <laughs> a leopard print blouse, uh, it's like a shirt, but it's like a chiffony shirt. I've had this shirt blouse, I don't really know what to call it, but I've had it for, oh my gosh, I've had it for like years. This is from H&M like years ago, I bought it years ago over like 10 years ago I think. I've had it for a very long time and I love it. I used to wear it a lot. I've not really worn it a lot this year. That's a lie. I've worn it a couple of times. <laughs> but I used to wear it a lot when I first got it and I just I just love it. I love the print. I love the color and I styled it with these high-waisted leather look trousers. And the funny thing about the trousers is, I don't know if you probably can't tell, but they also have that leopard print detail on them. So, so they are a leopard print leather look pair of jeans. They're not really like jean material. They're very skinny, but they're very stretchy. And I'm wearing them with the same boots from the previous outfit. So the uh, ASOS open toe sock boot. I just love that boot. I can have had that boot as well for a long time. A lot of the, I think what I've realized is that a lot of the items in my favorite outfits that I'm showing you are actually things I've had for a very long time. So yeah, it's just pieces I've always had in my closet. Hence why I'm not really telling you the brand because they're not new pieces. You're not going to get them. And if you watched my other previous videos, I'm not really doing any holes or buying new stuff. I just want to utilize my wardrobe a little bit more. So most of the pieces I'm actually sharing and talking about in these outfits are pieces I've had for a very long time. And then the little black bag, I love that little black bag, my little handbag. It's like a Prada inspired handbag. It's like a dupe of like the Prada nylon, is it nylon bags? Yeah, I'll put a picture. You know the ones I'm talking about. I actually do love that style, but obviously mine is not Prada. I just got a dupe and I really love it. It's like a really cute small handbag that is it just goes with everything to be honest and I tend to wear it a lot with a lot of my black outfits because I just think it's really cute, it's simple, it just adds to the outfit. So yeah, I think I love this outfit because it's pretty much all leopard print. <laughs> so the third outfit is just pretty much the second outfit but in all black. Like I told you, I just love an all black look. And this outfit, honestly, I could wear this every single day. I could wear this all the time. I think I look really nice in this outfit. I love the cropped, it's like a cropped shirt, black shirt that I'm wearing with the leather look trousers from the previous outfit. And honestly, 
I don't know, there's something about this outfit that is almost like, again, taking that office workwear inspired look and making it more elevated. And I just love how it's, it's almost like sexy without being sexy. I don't know how to explain it. Like, it's like I'm very, I'm very covered. You're not seeing any skin, but it's still sexy. So I do think like you can look sexy without showing a lot of skin or skin at all, which is kind of like what I did with this look. It's... To me, it's sexy. I don't know what you think, but to me, it's it's a sexy look. It's a very smart, sexy look, and I love it. These shoes, honestly, they're featuring me a lot. Again, it's just this dark sock but with an open toe and the same bag. That bag is from Misguided, if you are interested, but again, it's so old. I got it like three years ago. So the fourth outfit, I posted this months ago on Instagram, and I the caption I said, if I could wear an outfit, every single day you know like how they do it in cartoons this would be the outfit that i would want to wear every single day like my forever outfit like my uniform and it's not that different to actually what i'm wearing today except this top this knitted top is baggier than the one in the picture or clip i love this outfit it's another all black outfit, no surprises. The star really for me with this outfit are the boots. I think the boots just add that another layer to the look that just makes it seem more elevated than what it is. And that's what I love about it. I love just putting basics. These are all basics, like it's, it's a jumper and a skirt, mini skirt, right? Like there's nothing exciting about each piece individually but paired together with the boot and the bag it just makes it more exciting i i love this outfit okay let me know what you think like am i overhyping it i don't think so it's like it's a simple outfit but i personally love it and i would personally wear this all the time like if i had a uniform this will be it so the next outfit to me this is like me doing color okay so it's a black and white Pounds tooth vest, and I'm wearing it with this Matrix inspired trench coat. So it's leather. I love it. Honestly, every time I wear it, I feel like Trinity. And I tend to actually wear this coat as well with a lot of black looks. So this was for me just trying to move away a little bit from that Matrix look and pair it with something that's a bit more different. So that's why I'm wearing it with this like printed dress <laughs> it's a vest but i wear it as a dress and i also paired it with these croc effect boots and all together i think it works i actually think this look works for the next outfit oh my gosh i love this dress okay i love this dress i love this maxi dress because this is again another way of doing sexy but without showing skin are you with me i think you're with me if you can't tell already also when it comes to necklines my favorite neckline is clearly a high neck polo neck so whether it's a dress whether it's a top whether it's like a whether it's a dress whether it's a top whether it's a jumper nine times out of ten i want it to have a high neck and obviously this dress is got a high neck on it it's fully covered it's not up and back nothing very maxi but it is tight fitting it's not even tight fitting actually it just shows the silhouette just shows my body and it's got this ruching is it ruching it's not ruching what's the word what's the word draping oh my gosh <laughs> it's got this draping in the front which again i think adds a little bit more of elevation to the dress instead of it just being a boring plain long maxi dress you'll be surprised where i got this dress from i think a lot of people will be surprised where i got this dress from because i don't think it looks cheap i don't i think it looks very sophisticated it looks very elegant depending again on what i pair it with i can dress it up or i can dress it down i just this is like for me sexy elegant and another example of you don't always have to show skin to do sexy I just I just I just love it um, and if you are curious where I got it from I'm not promoting the brand I'm not telling you to go look for it I got this from Shein this is two years old so I do think they're still 
might have it, I don't know. Again, I am not promoting you to go buy it or promoting the brand, but it is from Shein. So, the next outfit is a black and white kind of look. <laughs> black and white, all black, that's my vibe. I do wear other colors, I do wear red, I do wear pink, I do wear um, beiges and browns, but my go-to is black, and then second is black and white. So this outfit, I love it, I love this look. I'm wearing a velvet mini skirt, which actually also ends up being a midi skirt. So the little loops on the sides, you can either, you can adjust the skirt to either make it a mini or a maxi. In this instance, I'm wearing it as a mini. I'm wearing it with these really high platform boots from, I've, I've posted like a, when I first got these, I posted a video showing them to you guys. So and I'll put it, I'll link it down below if you want to see that video. But yeah, I love those boots. They're very comfortable, but also they make me look very tall. And I just, I just love them. And then the jacket is also leather. Not leather. <laughs> the jacket is like a suede material. I don't even know why I said it's also leather. <laughs> so the jacket is like a suede material. Uh, the top underneath that, which is sheer black and white, the black and white lines are also velvet and then the skirt is velvet so it's suede velvet leather look so for me it's a favorite because it's like playing with textures my camera stopped recording so let's move on <laughs> so the next outfit I am wearing a shirt dress with my black trusted blazer that I've had forever a long time, some black pumps and the black bag from River Island. And why is this outfit a favorite? Oh, I'll tell you one, because I love a shirt dress. I love a shirt dress. I think I even did a video just dedicated to shirt dresses like a while ago. You'll probably find it on my channel because I'm pretty sure I did a video just on my shirt dresses. I love a shirt dress. I love this particular one because it's a satin material, so it's got a little bit of a shine to it. I love the blazer and I actually like this look because I hadn't actually worn that blazer in a very long time. And I put this outfit centered around it and I just love it because this is again another way of doing work wear but without wearing it to go to work. <laughs> So this is another sort of play on workwear, but for fun. It's sexy again, the legs are out. Like pumps are so sexy, okay? Pumps are so sexy. I feel like a lot of people don't wear pumps anymore. And I feel that's kind of sad. I think they're like a really simple boot, simple boot, like a simple heel, but it's a very sexy, elegant shoe. So I really love, I love, I love the pump. I love this look. I only like it because one, I love shirt dresses and two, it's my way of taking my workwear and wearing it for other occasions other than just going to the office. I mean, I would still wear this to work, if I'm being honest with you. I'll just put on some tights and I would actually still wear this look to work. But without the tights, it's more of like maybe after work drinks, you know? Let's go out for drinks kind of outfit. So yeah, I love pieces that can just be quite versatile. And that's why I kind of think this outfit needs to be a favorite in my closet, really. The next outfit, I wore this during summer. So this was one of my summer looks. And I love it. I love it because the way these shorts fit me, okay? Like, the way they fit on me in terms of, like, the way they feel and then the way they fit on me. I love these shorts. I love that they're not too short first and foremost, like they're short shorts but they're not like too short where like my body's out. That's one part of it where I love them. I love them because they're also stretchy so it's just, they're just very accommodating, okay? I don't feel restricted in them. They just fit nice. They move with me, you know, they move with me. So I love, I love them. And I'm wearing them with this anchor print shirt. You see that I love long sleeve things. I love long sleeve tops, long sleeve shirts. And again, this is these are pieces that I would wear to the office. If far as as in like the shirts, like the shirts, I would wear that to the office. And these are a lot of my office wear pieces. But 
As you guys know, since the pandemic, a lot of us have a lot of office wear items that we don't really wear because we're working from home. So this is my way of still using my office wear pieces for other occasions. You don't just have to keep your shirts for when you're in the office. You can dress them up. Like you can dress them up, make it fun, wear it with your pair of with a pair of shorts, you know, why not? I love it. I love it because I don't like to do casual, casual, casual. I don't like to do that when I get dressed. And I like to do like a formal piece with like a casual piece or um, a structured piece with something loose fitting or something simple. It's a good way of not just wearing your clothes but styling your clothes. Bringing those different elements in terms of like the texture of the item and in terms of like the silhouette of the items. I like to mix and match things because I think it just makes, it, it gives me versatility when it comes to my wardrobe and my pieces and how often I can wear something without it looking the same or without it being boring. So I hope that's making sense. I also today just want to tell you or show you my favorite looks without sort of giving you some tips as well into what I do and what I think about when I'm putting outfits together and when I'm styling pieces together. So I do hope this is helpful and if I'm talking too much then I'm sorry, I'm trying to be helpful. <laughs> so the next outfit is, this is actually a very recent outfit, this is, I need to wear something a little bit more laid back but still put together, still dressy without overdoing it so i think this outfit is a good balance of that i'm wearing this off shoulder jumper i don't know if you guys have noticed but like off shoulder tops are very much in i love it i love the look i absolutely love the look i particularly love this one because it's like a dark charcoal gray i love the dark charcoal gray like when i wear gray i don't like the really like cool tone gray I just I feel like it washes me out so I tend to like a really dark charcoal gray when I wear gray and I love I love this I love this one I love this jumper it's very it's from H&M if you're if you're if you're curious I, I could wear this all the time it's soft like it's so soft I don't know if you can tell from the picture of or the video but it's so soft and it's so snuggly and it, I just feel, I don't know, I was just wearing it, like even like describing it, I'm like, oh, cozy, cozy, that's the word. It's so cozy, it's so cozy. And I paired it with this little skirt, mini skirt, black mini skirt that I got from Mango. I'm wearing it with some leopard print tights, sheer tights. You probably can't tell that they're leopard print in the video or the picture but they're leopard print tights and I'm wearing so I'm looking down because I'm looking at the video to describe it to you. So I'm wearing this like little mango mini skirt which I absolutely love. Oh my gosh like I love I love a mini skirt. So I love this skirt. I've been looking for a black mini skirt like this for a very long time so they finally have one I'm like I will wear this all the time. I just love it and I'm and I'm wearing some sling back all black heels <laughs> it's like i lost my trail of thought the jumper is the start of your show like when you look at this outfit the jumper just stands out because of the contrast between the gray and the black so that's why i really love this look because of that contrast and it's again that whole thing of the jumper is very casual right it's a basic piece the skirt even though it is a basic piece it still is that sort of formal looking structured mini skirt it's playing on textures playing on silhouettes showing the clavicle bringing in that element of sexy i just i just love it i love it this is like a favorite of mine obviously because it's one of the favorite videos but like of the outfits i've worn recently i i love this look like i want to wear it all the time like i styled this jumper in another outfit the same week because i just loved it that much so yeah I, I i love it i love it you're probably gonna see me wearing variations of this look um a lot <laughs> so you've been warned <laughs> pre-warned <laughs> and then last but not least is another all black look i'm wearing this racerback top 
I've had this writer back top for um, obviously not this is not it <laughs> I don't know why I'm even doing this because I'm not wearing it right now in the picture in the video I am wearing uh, in the cutout I am wearing this razor back top that I got years ago from ASOS and I paired it with this draped skirt which is like it's got draping on it and then that draping almost creates a slit in the front so it gives it like that slit in the front and that's why I love this look because I love the skirt the skirt Again, it's like doing sexy without doing too much, you know. You could argue that the slit is a bit high, but you still don't see anything other than a little bit of thigh. <laughs> but I think it's still a good way of doing sexy, but without showing too much. And everywhere else is covered. Although my back might be open, I think it's... The rest of the I'm wearing, I think it's also open back. But either way, this is for me doing sexy without doing too much. And obviously I paired it with my Steve Martin's suede black knee-high boots. I'm wearing them a bit slouched down so they're not really at the knee, they're more like half length in the in the picture. But I just, I just love this look. I love this look. I felt sexy wearing it. I felt put together wearing it. I felt confident in it. I, I love all black looks. So I wear, could wear this all the time. And yeah, if you got to the end of this video, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I've just been like either rumbling or saying the same thing because to be honest, all the item outfits I've shown you, they pretty much have more or less the same kind of themes in them. And maybe why they are my favorite because I I just know my style. I just know what I like. I like all black looks. I like edgy, sexy, elevated basics. I love I love that. I love structured pieces. I love to play with silhouettes. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And I love it. I like to do it sexy, but without doing too much. I love leather. Yeah, I I'm actually looking forward to doing more outfits and more looks for 2024. I feel like I've not been on YouTube a lot that you guys have not really seen my outfits. But honestly, follow me on Instagram. I literally post every single day. Well, I try to. I try to post every single day, showing you my outfits, showing you what I'm wearing, how I'm styling my pieces, how to style different pieces multiple ways please do follow me on there if you are interested in seeing my outfits and if you're interested in outfits of the days and styling videos then definitely check me out on styling videos pictures that kind of content definitely follow me on instagram i am gonna try to do more videos as well on here to kind of show you what i'm doing with my closet, what I'm doing in terms of my capsule, wardrobe, <laughs> what I'm doing in terms of letting go of things, or how I'm getting on with my no buy yeah, because I kid you not, 2024, I am so dedicated to not buying any clothes or shoes, so wish me luck, and let's get styling. Thank you guys for watching. Please do comment, like, and subscribe. Let me know which was your favorite outfit from the outfits I've shown you. That's it. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done talking. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye. What? What? What am I saying? <coughs> so I'm wearing. <laughs> what was I saying? What was I saying? <laughs> Undergarments. Underwear undergarments with under <laughs> undergarments. You know what I mean. Um, by the way, vegan leather. 